Hey everybody, this is Patricia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a haul video. Yes, I went shopping over the weekend with my mother-in-law and I purchased some items. Some items I got with her, some items I got just my son and I shopping. But yeah, we had a weekend alone. My husband was out of town with his father and his brother. So, us girls and my son went shopping. So, I'll start with the not fun stuff. I just thought I'd show you what I picked up at CVS. I got these vitamins to try. This hair, skin, and nail gummies. They were buy one, get one free. Plus, I had a coupon. So, I can't even remember how much I paid for these. But, it was a good deal. Because I got one free. And then, I also had the coupon uh, on my CVS app. I have the app. And, I love it. Also, I picked this up. Sunscreens are they're on sale now, and summer's about over, so I got the Neutrogena Wet Skin, and I, I like this size. I think it'll fit in a bag to carry with us in the theme parks. SPF of 50, 50. <laughs> like 50 cents. Um, <laughs> SPF of 50, so it's good for swimming and sweating, and so I thought we really needed this. We're going water park and theme parks. And, so yeah, that was the non-fun stuff, but I thought I'd show it to you. Uh, I bought one, what I would actually consider a beauty item, and that was at Target. I got some stuff at Target. I'm not going to show household things. You don't care about toilet paper and stuff like that. But I did get this eyeshadow palette from Essence because I did a video. I'll find it and link it below where I... Uh, tried out Essence products for the first time, but I didn't have any eyeshadows. So I saw this and I'm thinking, why not? It was $9.99 and this is what it looks like. Aren't those colors pretty? I have them on. I'm going to flip it this way. I did not use that little brush that came with it. But I have this one, which is Vanilla Eyes. I have it up here. And then this one I love, Natural Beauty. Can you see the sparkle in that? The glitters? I have that on my eyelid. And in the crease, I took a ColourPop shadow called Bento Box, which is a gray. Kind of put that in my crease a little bit and went over it with this one. And that is Open, Eyes Bright Open, sorry. So let me, I'll swatch those for you. This is vanilla, very creamy. I'll, I'll swatch them all. There's vanilla. This is Natural Beauty. This one, I had to dampen my brush to really get it on my lids. There we go. And then Irresistible is a light taupe color. I didn't use that one. They, they look all, they look very similar, but I wanted to try them. This is l Top Row Light Up right here. It's a pretty pink. Yeah, see there. This is Eyes Bright Open. There we go. And then Team Bright, which is a little darker taupe. There we go. Um, pigmentation is okay. They're not too powdery. They feel creamy when you swatch them with your fingers. But um, I did have to dampen my brush to get that pretty glitter when they're on my eyelid. And um, I don't know how long they'll last. I have a feeling they're not going to be very long lasting. I just wanted to try some Essence shadows. I uh, probably wouldn't purchase them again just based on this. I mean, those are pretty, but... That whole palette looks the same except for that one dark shade. And I happen to like that dark shade. So for $10, I thought, why not? And then behind the mirror, there's a couple of little cards that shows you ways to do your eyes. I just thought that was cute. Really cute packaging. And uh, so since I wanted to try some Essence eyeshadows, I thought this little, this little palette was the way to go. But yeah, that's it. I'm not going to tell you to run right out and buy it, but I'm I'm glad I, I bought it. I do like that one that one shade, but it is patchy. You can see it's patchy on my arm. These are not the highest quality eyeshadows, but um, yeah, I've got some. I'll keep it, 
And, you know, when I do uh, videos doing drugstore or whatever, I'll have them. But it made a pretty eyeshadow, an eye look. But I did have to, like I said, add a kind of a gray in the in the crease. Otherwise, it, I don't think you would have really seen much. So, yeah, there we go. Next. Let's go with Bath and Body Works. I'm sure all of you know Bath and Body Works had a sale this weekend. I'm not sure if it's still going on. The candles were $12.50. The classics were buy three, get three free. Um, yeah, and then my mother-in-law had a coupon. So I picked out some stuff. She had a bunch of stuff and she was gracious enough to say, oh, just give me your stuff. I'll just get it all, use the 20% and she just gave it to me. So. I just want to put that out there. I'm on a no buy and I did not buy this stuff. My mother-in-law bought it for me. So thank you very much. So I got a couple candles and this first one, oh yeah, Beach Glow. It says it's Salted Oak Bonfire. I'm ready for soft summer nights and beach bonfires. Now, when I smelled this, does it have Fragrance notes, wash, wave washed oak, mm -hmm. glowing embers, and sea spray. Now, when I smell this, it reminds me, doesn't smell exactly, but it reminds me of by the fireplace fragrance that I absolutely love, that I need to get a, a rollerball size when they make one. But yes, you can smell the, the smokiness in this. It's not as strong but you do smell it and oh, I just love the smell of this. So this, I got that one. Next, my second candle, which I only bought two candles, is this one and this is my fall candle. It's the homemade goodness of pumpkin cupcake. And it says eat dessert first. Mmm, this, this is a nice scent. Uh, whipped buttercream, Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice, and fresh baked cupcake. That's what it smells like. It's not a really strong scent of, uh, pumpkin, but you do definitely smell the pumpkin. So, yeah, I got that for the fall. Yay. Now, these goodies. I could not find, um, like three to get three free. So, I just... I picked these three things and my mother-in-law had three things. So that's how that went around. So I guess I got the three free and she got, she purchased three. And this is a new fragrance. And I was really looking for some new bubble baths and the store we were in, I couldn't find anything new. Uh, and this new scent did not have a bubble bath. So I don't know if they're going to go away from that or what, but I smelled this in the store and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is Hello Autumn Salted Caramel Apricot. Now I love the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Did it make my legs look smoother? No, but I love the scent of it. This smells exactly like Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I mean, it smells exactly like it, and I was so excited. Yep, it smells. It smells just like it. So this normally sells for $13.50, this big tube of cream, and the really small jar of Brazilian Bum Bum Cream is 20 The large one, I think, is 40 or 50 somewhere in there. This one. If you love it just for the smell, this, Bath & Body Works, salted uh, caramel, apricot exactly like brazilian bum bum cream so i got the body cream i got the uh body wash creamy body wash and it's um and yes i have used it it's creamy like that and then i got the fragrance mist so yeah i'm gonna spray some of this on i love this it smells exactly like the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Exactly. So that's what I got from Bath and Body Works. And with my mother-in-law's coupon, the candles ended up being $10 a piece. So yeah, I mean, that was not bad. She bought a bunch of candles. 
she bought a bunch of hand soaps and she bought uh, some of the classics stuff. I, I think she got all of hers was uh, body creams. She really likes the body cream. And then, uh, but yeah, it was a bunch of stuff. I started to ask her, can we haul your stuff at your house? But she doesn't like to be on camera. And I thought, well, I'm not going to do that. Next, uh, my son and I went to a local thrift store. This is not Goodwill. This is a local thrift store and all the proceeds go to our rescue mission. So, uh, we don't go in there very often, even though it's close to our house. So, my son and I went in there, and the clothing was buy one, get one free. And then he found uh, a Star Wars book, uh, and he found three DVDs. He got Terminator 2, Terminator 3, and the Kevin Smith movie Dogma, which he's been wanting to see. And so he got those for two bucks a piece. I think the book was 50 cents. And then I got four tops. And uh, I'm going to show them to you. Now, I'm going to attempt to film myself in these tops for you. And if that is successful, it will be at the end of this video. If there's nothing at the end of this video, then I, I just couldn't work it out myself. Now this top, I'm not going to film. Um, this one turned out to be free. I'm not sure which other, other one was free because this was cheap. This was $2.99 and it's just an extra large and it's well loved, but it's a Disney Nightmare Before Christmas long sleeve tee. See? And I don't have any long sleeve t-shirts and I just thought, you know, just to wear around the house because I wouldn't wear this out in public unless uh, it is, um, I don't know, out for Halloween. I might wear it Halloween when I act on the actual Halloween when I go trick or treating, not down at Disney. But uh, yeah, or I thought I might wear it Christmas Day, you know, in the mornings, you know, just to open presents. So anyway, that ended up being free, and I'm not going to model that for you because that's, that's nothing. Next, I got this sweater. This sweater was a Jones, New York, and it was $5.99, so I know I paid for this one. It's just a regular extra large. I want you to see the knit. Isn't that pretty? See the little sparkles in it? It's just a pretty turtleneck sweater. Argyle sweater with that pretty design. Isn't that pretty? So, yeah, I just got it. I don't think I own a lot of sweaters. Probably own more than I think because I have them put away, you know? So, when it's time to pull the sweaters out, I'll probably say, oh, my goodness. I have too many sweaters. But I know I don't have a light one like this. So, I got that one. If I can model it, I will. Um... I got this sweater, and I thought this was so cute. Uh, this one was $4.99. It is a size 20. Uh, the brand is Per Una. Per Una? I haven't heard of that. But it just looks like it's a really nice sweater. Do you see? It just has this one button, and the button is actually a snap. It just snaps one snap and it's three-quarter length sleeve it's not a, a full long sleeve but I just thought that was pretty and uh, I didn't care that it was a 20 I know I'm I am wearing 18s but you know some things and with it being a, a sweater like that I think 20 will be okay and then this I got I thought I had one more item I think I do. I'll have to go look for it. This is a Lane Bryant. It's a size 1820. And this was how much? $4.99. So this was probably free. Yeah, I've got two $4.99s, a $5.99, and a $2.99. So I know the $2.99 was free. So one of the $4.99s was free. So this is it. It's just a nice lightweight knit shirt. I love the sleeves. Do you see? 
the shiny part I don't want this hand has got got swatches on it you can see the upper part of the sleeve and the fun part is the back it has that back that you see it crisscrosses the crisscross back to it so yeah that is all I got at uh, I know I have one other shirt those are the ones I got at the thrift store for the uh, rescue mission mission so hold on I'm gonna look for that other shirt okay here is the last shirt I got and this one did come from Goodwill and I got it um, over the weekend my son and I went and I think all I got was this shirt he got again some more books uh, but this is the shirt. It is a, uh, I guess, apartment nine. It's just a regular extra large. I don't know if you can see that. And um, Goodwill doesn't put the price, but everything is $3.99. So this is the shirt. It's, again, that lightweight knit. And then I love the bedazzled sleeves. It's a full sleeve. So that was $3.99. That is everything I got now over the weekend, and it is so, excuse me, so hot right now, I can't even begin to think about wearing any of those clothes, but I got them for the fall, and yeah, so that's everything I got over the weekend that was just somewhat interesting, I thought you might like. So, like I said, if uh, I can figure out the modeling and taking the either I'll take a photo or try to film and I'll insert them at the end of this video. If not, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I will see you next time. And hopefully you've got some video of me trying on clothes now. Thanks. There's one. Okay. Okay, this is the Lane Bryant 18 to 20. I'm sorry, I have on a dark bra. Um, there's the sleeves. Here's the back. I hope you can see that. Back right there. So, that's this one. Okay, here's the sweater. Oh, I love this sweater. Is this just not gorgeous? I love this sweater. Big boobs, sorry. It fits perfect. Love it, love it, love it. But so hot. Okay, and now I'm going to model the last cardigan. Okay, and here's the little cardigan. I just put my t-shirt back on. It doesn't, I can't show you, it doesn't come down. It comes down to right at my waist. And the sleeves are three-quarter length. But yeah, so that's it. That's all the clothes I got. So thanks for watching.